looking. That's the emphasis of Hockney's life and work. Look, look at the world, study it, and then depict it. It's all about showing us the world and, and changing the way we see it. My name's Simon Elliott. I'm a writer and illustrator. I've just produced Hockney, A Graphic Life, my illustrated biography of David Hockney. It's my absolute pleasure to be here today at Charleston in Furl. I'm here looking at Love Life, Hockney's beautiful exhibition of early drawings. They span from the early 60s to almost the end of the 70s. The exhibition really showcases a lot of the most important people in his life at the time. One of the lovely things about these works, there is knowing. It is obvious that the subjects are well known to the artist. With this exhibition, we're concerned with Hockney's early years. The move from London to LA, the people that were in his life at that time. We get the first sightings of Peter Schlesinger. Peter's significance is that for the first time, David loved a man who loved him too. It was his first proper, intimate, really special relationship. To my eye, that really comes across in the work. Hockney was teaching at UCLA, largely, I think, American housewives to draw and paint. Peter wandered into the class entirely by accident. He didn't meet the entry requirements, but David liked him right away. And so he made sure that Peter could stay and take the course. And they developed a friendship, which grew into a relationship. So this drawing is Peter from 1968, a really intimate scene between lovers, Peter reclining naked on the bed. In terms of what was going on at this time, so we're late 1960s, we've got Peter and David living between London and LA. They were really establishing themselves in London society, so starting to go to operas, film premieres, really sort of joyous time being together, being intimate together, and just having a wonderful time. David Hockney, very much a queer pioneer. A lot of these works took place when homosexuality was still illegal in this country. So there's a lot of bravery to it. I've read a lot about his parents, Laura and Kenneth Hockney, and they really encouraged David and his siblings to be confident in themselves and firm in their beliefs. Kenneth was very fond of the phrase, don't worry what the neighbours think, you've got to do your own thing. So it's hard not to read into that, a lot of Hockney's bravery when it comes to depicting his own homosexuality. One of the joys of these works is they revel in the detail. They're all about little insignificant seemingly aspects of life. These tiny little details, but they're minutely observed and beautifully depicted. For me, Hockney's work is all about finding the joy in the everyday. He was asked at a press conference after one exhibition if he had a message that he wanted to convey through his work. Not a specific message, he said, love life, I suppose. And that is David Hockney.